up right now. And now Zeus is like, this it is, is eternal. Not Australian I have cast you down into Tartarus. <laughs> you shall burn for the rest of eternity. Well, that's kind of like how Zeus sounds when he gets pissed off. But there we go, guys. Navi, pissed around. Is this the pistol round? I'm thinking this is the pistol this round. This is the pistol round. I imagine they knifed already and were just waiting for us, hence why they went ready as soon as we got in. The, the admin would have just said, okay, Yep, go. there we go. Havoc, JKS, and Sponge all going utility. As has been dropped the Tech 9, most likely Sponge dropping him for that. And then Yam has got the Kevlar. This is a very interesting combination here for Renegades. They're going to go straight into Link, get control of this part of the map, and go straight into mid here. And Navi, they've got three players here. This could be a catastrophe. Not if they can hit the first shot like Yam does, but Zeus is there to come back, and now it's going to be Edward closing out on AZR. Unfortunately, only he could pick up one, so now it's down to a two-on-two, -two, although as Havoc, who came around the long way, he came from playground, he didn't go to the stairs, he was waiting to rejoin with his teammates, catches one player off guard, and now there's a bit of a chance because JKS has worked over to B. He has the bomb, but he doesn't know he's alone. If he knew he was alone, he could have this bomb planted already. He's got a mile of opportunity to do it, but that opportunity has dwindled away to absolutely nothing as his teammate tries to rotate over and get in position with him. Yeah, and I love the ring around a rosy game that's going on here with Guardian. Look at this. He's, he's going to flank it completely. He's gone through bathrooms straight into long, all the way back around. He just barely misses dropping on this guy through Link, but he's going to go into Link as well. This is so sick from Guardian. He hears the steps as well. Havoc has made just a little bit too noisy. He too much noise. He picks up the Tech 9. But Guardian is going to be hot on their heels. If Renegades try and push up short onto this site, Flamey just has to call for it, and then Guardian can come in for the backstab. This round started off so fast, and it's been 2-2 two and two for like the last 20 seconds, and there's still 30 to go in it. JKS, he's going to give them the advantage, but here comes Guardian coming in. He can't take down the ball planter, so a really good chance now for Renegades as that smoke comes out a little bit late on the edge of the wall. But it's Guardian to go for the reconnect here and rejoin on the site. He's got them down. Hey, oh my goodness, this is crazy that he goes that low in JKS. I cannot believe that he actually hit that shot because he got taken down to 40 HP, sub 40 HP on that second bullet. I thought Guardian had it. Take a breath. Just imagine if Flamey actually gets any damage out there during that push up short. When they go onto the site, Guardian's job gets so much easier. But the fact that Guardian not quite able to clutch at this time is definitely going to be a little bit of a slow start here for Navi. Renegades, however, going straight up to SMGs. Tech 9, single Galil picked up on Havoc. And then the short Molotov to go down and actually stop any kind of aggressive play coming here from Navi trying to get into connector. Havoc. Already waiting. He missed that one up, though. But that was a little. That could have worked. That could have been interesting. A little bit of a pop flash, maybe. Not really, but still cool. Changes to the train this week as well on this map. Very true. Which Both. we haven't actually mentioned. And Sponge has actually done his homework as well. He's tested it out. Yeah, he tweeted back to Nothing, who said, basically, does this mean we can't Molotov on the site early? And Sponge said, no, you actually just have about 17 seconds after the round starts when it comes by that you can still get early nades in to the B site. So. Sponge is all over it. Definitely does his homework. That's why he's the in-game leader. Four on four. Havoc down to 54. Double scout out for right now. Zeus and Edward. In the most Canadian of fashion is Flamey, though, is going to take down JKS on entry. But there's the comeback from AZR. Gives them a bit more of an opportunity to get this bomb down safely as the rotation isn't quite in position. And Edward's going to actually slow down his teammate as he goes back to window with his scout. Makes sense for him to have that scout, though. But there's Sponge on short taking out Seas. That's pool open. Zeus is going to try and get in here with the scout. Doesn't quite peek far enough. He's going to get overwhelmed. As up, close with the MP7. Feeds himself 600 bucks. And now Edward's the last man alive in Sniper. He's just basically going to have to be looking to hold on to his gun. There's no real fight for him to take here. He's not going to be able to uh, get in and actually win the round. So hold on to the scout. Hold on to your gear, Edward, and basically see if he can't get out of here in one piece. But that's just not going to be the case. He'll get rushed down by Aza in the end. So good play there by Aza. Three kills total for him. Lots of money in his pocket. That's exactly how they want that to go in the second round. Make sure that the guy with the SMG is the one getting the frags because you get pretty much twice as much as in most, most guns in general, basically. I'm not going to go into the details. Why not? Well, okay, fine. CZ, is, class like, CZ is like 100 bucks now. Rifles are 300. Most of your pistols are 300. Op is 100. All right, you can stop. There you go. You're boring me. Shotguns are 900. Lots of money in your pocket. And then you give that to Happy and you go to the casino. There we go. <laughs> Let's go now. Navi, third round, P250s. Just like your steak, you just stake him up front and be there like, you go, I'll buddy. take a cut of every kill you get. You get three frags shot. and you got a good night. Yep. So Yam yeah, looking with the Tech 9. He's stuck back on this, so look for an early buy out of him, and he's actually going to dink up Flamey all the way down to the red HP already. In fact, 19 left for him. That nade might just be enough to take him down. In fact, his, his body goes flying. <laughs> Skyrockets. Oh. Skyrockets in flight. <laughs> Afternoon delight. It's the evening, though, Sato. Come on. It's all the same time to me. As Zeus will take down Azar, that's going to be... A contributing kill with the pistols actually to slow down this push just a little bit. Careful not to shoot your teammate in the back, Mr. Yam, but nonetheless, his teammates have done the work. Sponge is going to take down Zeus, the last kill with the AK. And it's left to Edward again, and Edward bombed down. 
And he's gonna saving his P250. Yeah, sh no. <laughs> Stop it. Looking but for a better wait. angle to get some exits and potentially pick up a rifle. Looking to the shot. Not going to happen. JKS is there. Boom, boom. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. That's the word I was looking for. Boom, boom, shaboom. Boom, boom, shaboom works as well. Well, now we got the actual buy coming out from Renegades. Have to keep in mind, though, they've lost a few more people than they would have liked, so money it might a little be a bit spare. But, hmm. <coughs> Did you die? I think so. <laughs> Semler's dying, so we'll continue this round as the guns do come out. Yam is going to walk over to the playground. And they're actually going for a bit of a split here. Just a solo lurk player right now from JKS, but he's coming back around. He's going to rejoin, and there is an aggressive play toward the bathroom, so more aggressive than what we saw Nip doing early on against Flipside. That could have been to their detriment when they look back upon that game. There's lots of things that will be, but nonetheless, winner of this will play Flipside. It's going to be Yam still looking out to find this shot toward Long. Guardian falling off the flower box, perhaps just at the right time, so he's not spotted up. Realizes now he's got two coming, and there it is. Very smartly goes for the right click. Deploy the smoke, and in fact, he's going to play forward of it. This could entirely catch them off as Havoc goes for the jump, misses it. Guardian will have heard that. In fact, they both miss it, so he'll know there's two there. Instead, he gets one, runs back, goes to hide inside the site, and it sees on the front of bathrooms who's going to have a lineup, but he takes the first shot. That allows Hazard to turn back and get the angle. And now he's doubled up as he catches Guardian in transition coming out from the park sign, and now it's actually going to be him to take down Flamey on the trade. So they've got a chance here. Renegades, 4 nothing. First pistol, first gun. Great start. Holy hell, and that is just crazy because you have all these positions taken up by Navi. Guardian playing clever, and then the hold it close to restroom. You're thinking, okay, this could actually go south, but Renegades just effectively traded. They, they stayed ahead. One man ahead. That's all you have to do on the T side. You'll eventually bleed them out. And Navi, they, they were left writhing on the ground there. So that is definitely not going according to plan for Navi to start things off. Losing the first buy round means that Renegades have a pretty fair shot at getting up to five rounds to start. And on overpass, five... And you get up to six rounds, you're going to be feeling, you're going to be starting to feel a little bit comfortable. So this is a little bit tricky now for Navi. One for one trade again, Zeus and Flamey actually making it fairly expensive. And they get control of the bomb as well. So this is actually pretty silly here by Renegades. And if Flamey actually gets that kill, that's where you like unplug your mouse and just stand up from the PC. But he gets taken out, seized in Tiger. Edward, that is, will be the last two alive here for Navi, trying to inflict, inflict some damage in the backyard. And Edward's just going to rotate back in toward the bathrooms. As they are the man down, he knows they're going to be working in that direction. He might actually get caught when he goes back in the site, and there it is. He does. Havoc's in position with the AK. Leaving just sees 5-7 for him. And a long way to go to get back inside. The point of contention right now, the A site where Havoc is going to place that bomb. Already Yam looking out toward the top of the stairwell. And that's where Seize is going to come, and he's picked up an AK. So here's the debate. Does he keep the AK or not? And he's in a good position where he may actually catch off him. But yeah, here's him coming. Very obvious, but he misses the spray. Unbelievable. Seized. Uncharacteristic of him. That's impressive. That's impressive in an unimpressive way. That's incredible that he actually misses that. That's a given. That's, that's basically a free kill. That's not what we see, expect to see from Seized at all. You're right. Uh, that's, this is now... That doesn't matter, really. You had the money. You were going for a save anyways. You had the money to go for a full buy here. You're going to get enough nades to, to really have an impact in this round. So, Navi, now it's time to reset. And they're going for the aggression. Gotta love this. Edward straight down into connector. Standard fare for him. And then two players in the restroom. So not over aggressive. Not trying to push all the way up to top mid. And I like that Renegades were also trying to play it safe. They're expecting aggression long right now, though. That bomb is alone looking towards top mid. So this is a little bit scary. But then they start wrapping back around. And Renegades really taking their time with this. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason to hustle this. They've got the lead. They've got a substantial Ooh. lead to start things off. But that is a really clever Molotov. That goes out to Treon Long. That is so sick. Okay, then, Renegades, they've done their homework. Definitely looking comfortable. And trains in this pool as well, let's not forget. And you said, like, they're super confident they wanted to pick it. Sponge was confident on it. They think they're one of the best in the world. And through this smoke they go, as it gets taken down. So on the way through, it's actually going to favor Navi with the man advantage right now. Left to a four on three. Guardian on only 10 HP, and they're still pushing onto the A site. In fact, he just touched one down now. Flamey does as Havoc was looking to enter and potentially go for that bomb plant. JKS eventually gets that back. But look at his HP, 16 left. Yeah, and they knew where he was as well. So Seize Look is going to be able to hunt him down. But that was so sick by JKS as well. Man, just nothing but sick city here with Renegades. Sick city. 180 shot from JKS to take out Zeus, who had him dead to rights as well. Like, okay, and now place. Yam. Yeah, it's called Los Angeles. Oh. The Check land of, uh, the land of uh, fruit and granola. Hmm. Well, that'll give Navi their first round. This is a start. And this means that they can keep that op rolling. We've already seen them throw that over toward Guardians. So even though he's bought down to the armor, he'll have that when he runs out of the spawn. There it is. So it's going to be back to action for him. And the rifle's still out, obviously, for Renegades based on their start. And no surprise, 
They look for this B site early on, and the smoke's already over. They go. Remember they said 17 seconds. Sponge did his homework, so they get the quick nades in. That Molotov already out on Toxic. That'll force the player back inside water. So they've got control of a position to plant already. Late smoke on the right side of the pillar. That'll cover off window or anyone trying to shoot back in from there. But what they don't account for is Edward very quick on the flank. Finally, a Molotov goes out to prohibit him from re-entering the site, but he's already done damage as Azza comes back into it. And he's going to actually push forward inside the water as the Seize plays from jungle right now. Edward, Edward. Oh, and Sponge is going to catch that backstab. That was a big play right there. Edward could have completely caught them out. That was a bomb as well at risk. So with a minute left on the clock, Renegades can safely get out of that B site and start to make Na'Vi guess themselves, doubt themselves rather. Guardian looking on Sniper, but he's not going to have any targets to work with. They leave Azza behind because it's just like Azza's on a 11 HP already or 9 HP. So it's just like whatever, this guy's going to die anyway. Maybe he can get something for us in the meantime. And if he gets a win versus Guardian, that would have been good, but it's not going to happen. Guardian finds that shot, and is this real life? Havoc is all the way up on the B site with the bomb alone, and Sponge is going for like the biggest backstab in the history of backstabs. He's got to be quick about doing it. Guardian find him already, but this forces the rotation, so at least Havoc will still get a bomb plant down. And he's actually going to have a reasonable amount of time to secure position, but he might just sit on top of it here. And if they get the window fast, okay, this is good. I'm glad he didn't just stay put because they easily could have forced a two-on-one split. Instead, he gets up on the ledge. Seized is going to check it in. What a reaction, but he kills himself as he drops in. Doesn't matter. Thankfully, Guardian's still in. If that had been a one-on-one, -on -one, I would have laughed pretty hard about that. Oh, my God. That was so sick, though. That was perfectly I got to stop saying sick, man. I got to find a different word to describe this. Just yeah, incredible, get out, get out awesome, to wondrous, like. mind-blowing, yeah. inhuman, to steal a word from Anders. Like, jumping shot. He actually checks that angle. Yeah. Not too shabby. And I think he actually checked it originally and was looking away and then reacted as he was falling like, oh shit, he is there. Straight spray, oh, by the straight trigger. spray. I'll give him uh, three out of five callies on that one. Really nicely done. So, three out of eight, great, mate. Going into it. <laughs> no, dude. It only goes up to five. But it's going to be a bit of a mixed buy coming out now from Renegades. So three rifles, two tech nines. Good combi buy here. And we can see if they can actually manage to go for this because it's just going to be straight rush out of them. No fear, only dreams. Renegades trying to go onto the B side fast. Zeus falling back into pit early on. Gets that smoke down as well. So it's going to keep Renegades guessing. But some good flashes actually holding him at bay. And that allows for Havoc to wrap around, take him out, bring it back to a four on four. Although as I say that, Flame, he takes out JKS and Seize takes out Azza. What is going on? Renegades, they get control of the site, but then they completely lose it in the blink of an eye. Havoc does get that backstab and the bomb is planted for him, but there's four players alive for Navi. Havoc, like you said, backstab. They didn't know he was there, so easy first kill. But Guardian immediately turns back around. And this defuse, quite obvious that it's going to happen. So Navi clawing back. They go down 5-0. It's back to 5-3. And this definitely starts to make a dent in the wallet of Renegades and gives Navi... Th I mean, this is what we had to see in the last game from Nip, right? Break them early and get back in, get the momentum coming back. Now we at least can see a fight for the rest of the half, but they're still in it. They're not playing from behind. And the advantage is now there. The op is out. It's up against the pistols. And what does Sponge call? Because they could actually go for a force, but it would be really aggressive this early, having already gotten five rounds. Well, I like that from Sponge. He calls for the pause, and he quickly explains that his mic has died. So hopefully that's not going to take too long to fix. But uh, right now, Renegades, I mean, you're right in saying that it's a totally different situ situation from Nip. It's just like Renegades are actually, are actually on five rounds. They're very close to having the necessary rounds to consider this a, a decent half for themselves. So, okay, sure, you're letting Navi start to get some steam. You're, like, you're starting to let them come back into it. Um, that's fine and dandy as far as they're concerned because they have plenty of time left to get, uh, to get a couple more rounds in here and basically just like icing on the cake. Uh, apparently this is a tactical pause, so maybe Sponge... We did see the mic call. We saw the mic but, call. But, but anyway, either way, it's, it's, not, it's a minor issue compared to some of the others we've had today. Mm -hmm. That said, they are in, uh, the, the reason I'm, I brought up the money situation for them is because they are in a position to force, but there's no need on the T side with five rounds already. They force, all they do is break their economy later and potentially give up two more rounds. I think they, they could almost just go for a, a Tech 9 buy here, and that's, yeah, okay, there you go. So it's going to be the Tech 9 buy. And then that way, they can still have money to buy in the next round, potentially pick this up, you know, barring some great play out of individual talents, whatever. But they're not going to throw too much away too early. There's no, there's no sense giving up a half you're already decently into. Yeah, no, this, there's still a lot of opportunity to do some damage here. And they, they seem to be picking up on the aggression, but then Nade's going out already, and uh, Connector, that's the smoke going down, Flash as well, and they stand their ground, but a one-for-one one trade is perfectly fine. I'm really interesting that Renegades are actually using the bomb first, and Yam, gotta be careful, there we go, he gets rid of it, Guardian lands that shot point blank, so the bomb isn't at risk, Havoc trying to push forward, and he's not gonna have any joy there, Flamey shuts him down, and Zeus is there to take out JKS, that leaves Azza alone, he's got his Tech 9, I love it, he's got an M4, but he sticks with the pistol, and does manage to find the headshot on Guardian, well within the lethal range. So, Navi, they do manage to uh, stabilize in the end, keeping three players alive. And that will allow them to steadily march forward towards that good bank that they're looking for here to carry them through the rest of this half. Yeah, and the round loss bonus is now on its second last round. It's, it's accumulating for the terrorist side. So, by going to those Tech Nines, look at, look at the buy they're able to bring out now. 
They get the op back up. They're mm -hmm. fully into it with AKs. No harm, no foul. Yeah, a plant obviously would have been like way... Oh, it would have been but massive. If they can get a plant out of this round, even if they lose it, they're just going to be able to full buy nearly every time here. So Renegades, that's going to be the key part of this, of, uh, this play now for them. Love to see that Edward is playing a bit more aggressive this time, however, so we'll see how Renegades choose to adapt to this. Don't think they've expected to see this yet, but Naza's is definitely hearing the steps close, so he's going to be calling this out to his teammates. This could be a bit of a bait from Edward, however, but Aza just hits that timing perfectly and catches Edward before he can get back into the restroom. And that's the thing with Edward's position there. By jumping up on top of the party, you have to expose yourself on exit. He hears him drop, or you're coming down the stairwells directly in the line of sight. So there has to be a support player to cover when you retreat, and there no, no one was there. So Aza had a free I, shot at him. I think he mistimed the smoke, really. The, he wasn't expecting the smoke to clear. He probably thought he had like half a second left. But then it could also be just like timing, straight timing. So unfortunately there for Edward, it's not going to work out, but Renegades... They're going to brave the monster and go B. And this is coming down to oh, Zeus. Oh, wow, Zeus. Even better. He knows there's four, but that flash, they'll have seen him cross back over as well. I'm sure of it. As they actually all go by, Bomb now going to join in on this B push as well. But look at the rotation. Zeus has all the information he needs. They might get close enough to try and go for a plant, but as soon as they do, they're going to be shot in the side. Havoc. He looks up toward the window. The flashes are all coming out to delay everything in the late smokes. Aza has a chance, though. If Aza takes down Zeus, this could spoil the plans. And now there's a real chance that this is an actual B-take that's going to work in their favor. Never mind. Look at Flamey as he takes down two. In fact, add another one to his total. As is the last to drop bomb, not even planted. That's right, Sadokist. Never mind. Just be quiet. <laughs> what Navi here? Just like... Just going to mute my mic and leave. Get now. out, dude. Get out. That was a sick play from... Navi with the rotation managing to hit those shots. Basically, if Renegades pick up that bomb, great. The fact that they don't manage to get the bomb plant, that's, that's what wins Navi that round. Because afterwards, Renegades, they can't back off, they can't play safe, they can't sweat Navi out. No, they have to keep pushing up onto Plateau where there's Flamey, where there's Guardian, where there's everybody basically waiting for him. So a really tough situation there for Renegades to come out from. And because they didn't get that bomb plant, they go for a quasi-buy. It's Tech Nines, Kevlar helmet across the board with a couple nades to go with it. But uh, they have a, such a different approach from Envy, right? Envy, when they go for these kinds of buys, it's just no fear. YOLO, straight up, go for, their, go for the throat. Whereas Renegades, they kind of spread out and play it a little, more, more, a little bit more standard. A standard, I don't know. I feel like the standard, I mean, Tech 9 is just like run and gun, baby. Don't, no fear. Yeah. Just go. Yeah, exactly. It has to almost be the train play with these now. There's no way you're going to split up Divide and Conquer quite so easily with that gun. But look at this. I mean, this MP9 from Edward. What, what great position to play with it. Up close, he'll be able to catch them on the cross oh. on the way through, and he's got the, such a, like, just vampid rapid fire spray with that thing, and it's going to be Flamey that actually gets the kill with the Famas, but the assist is there. Edward does pick up Yam, finally responds from Azan, actually had two kill from him, so he's playing super solid in this tournament. We mentioned it at the start. Nonetheless, Navi's going to pick up the round. Yeah, solid work there, no doubt about it. So 5,300 across the bank for Edward, for, uh, for, well, for Edward, for Renegades, essentially. I'm looking at Yam, basically, and he's probably waiting on the call whether he goes for an op or not, but he's going to go for the rifle here, so this kind of speaks to a little bit more speed here for Renegades, not counting on him to get that opening kill. Navi, of course, Guardian has his AWP, so they def they're definitely going to be sticking with that sniper rifle, and the money's got to start to be looking pretty good here for Navi as well. So this is, all, this is starting to fall into the rhythm for Navi. Renegades also not going for early aggression anywhere, really taking their time. These smokes going down is also, it's also just a nice touch by Navi because it's going to keep Renegades guessing. Now they have to worry about somebody lurking close. They need to worry about a counter boost, anything like that. So it's a very cheap way for Navi to get even more time off the clock. As is going to work up the party now and just take a peek down toward the stairwell. You call it Link, by the way. I call it the connector. But if you're going to call it Link, I'm going to start to call it Zelda. But look at Guardian picking up two. And Edward now takes down Azza. This is looking really good. The AK is not even doing any damage right now. Guardian on 74 as he retreats back through the flames. And Sponge, he wants to fight the front of the bathrooms. They're not even going to get that far. It's not a team ace, but it is definitely a team wipe. So Navi in full control. Seven rounds back to the five that initially came out from Renegades. I mean, that's the thing with the start, right? You win that first pistol, you win that first gun, at least, at least you've done five rounds on the T-side, but it's not going to be enough against Navi. I mean, they're, no. they're so good on both sides of this map. Yeah, that's, that's the main issue. We need, like, seven rounds out of Renegades here. So, Minimum. Uh, I was saying that they have a lot of room. Now they're starting to run out of it. Seven rounds in a row for Navi. That's kind of unacceptable for Renegades at this point. They at least need to, like, nibble away at them. Take a round here, take a round there. Sure, Navi may come back, but, you know, at least get up to that six or seven mark. And they're gonna, it's going to start weighing on them as well. But look at these kinds of buys that they're going for at this point. A couple of nades to work with, two smokes, two flashes. I mean, sure, they've got AKs, but they're going to have to hit some godlike shots if they want to get in here. They don't actually have an execute to run with. But that, that'll do, Sponge. That'll do. Guardian gets picked off. Seized with a double spray down, though, as they try and push onto the site. And the smokes are perfect here for Navi as well, just buying so much time. Edward holding close. Pretty much customary position for him. And this is just not going Renegade's way at all. Navi, two players alive with control of the bomb and no hope for Havoc in the end. He gets completely slammed. 
Ooh. Yeah, I mean, the momentum is definitely shifting rapidly out of control here. Guardian go back to the off right away. It's going to be eight Ks to come out because, again, this lost round bonus full effect right now. Havoc still tight to go into just an AK. Look at the utilities. One decoy grenade, for God's sakes, and then it's just a flash and a smoke out for JKS. And where do they look to go with it? A split right now. Three players heading out toward the pipe system, but... Actually, I take that back. One's a decoy nade. So two players out toward the pipe system, three players out toward the playground, and they'll likely try and get a control of the top of the stairwell and get something working so they at least have options if they can find a pick. Yeah, they're really avoiding uh, Guardian pretty hard. They know that Guardian likes to play long renegades. We really haven't seen them go long much at all early on. No challenge, no real peak. They did it once, if I can remember correctly. So, I mean... Maybe that's a fear factor as well. Uh, that's, that's what I'm wondering, you know, because once Navi managed to bop them on the nose and, and stop the momentum, then Renegades have time to think, right? And then they have time to remember, who are we playing against? Oh, that's right, it's Navi. Yeah, they're kind of like supposed to go the distance with this tournament. So, um, yeah, that's, that may be kind of seeping into Renegades' play where they might lose some confidence instead of doing what they need to do, which is, you know, like, start taking control, full control of the map. They, they're leaving some spots unchecked. Molotov now after the smoke. There's still vision there. Late smoke, so Flamey can get out of the corner, but he's actually going to push up into it, so a different call altogether. He's already used his flash. We saw him bounce that off the pillar. And there's three men coming in on top of Flamey, and he's going to have to look. They check the corner. He slides out accordingly, only gets the one. Yam comes back into it. Meanwhile, JKS has already won out on Sandbag, so they've gotten inside the site, and Azza through the edge of the wall. Well placed by him. Now they've got a bomb down a sponge. Looking back to cover the flank, 15 HP for JKS, and the two players remaining, Edward and Guardian, are wreaking havoc right now as they pick up one each, and it's a two-on-two -two retake. Yeah, this is so big now, and, well, they aren't going to spot the man holding on short. No more real nades to work with. They do have an HE. If they can touch down that onto JKS, that could change a lot, but they expect him to be playing Monster, and he lines up for him. Guardian lives with six HP. 1v1 situation here, and there's just not going to be too much time here. Sponge now holding his ground. He's counting internally. There's the clock. Checks the bomb. Doesn't overextend. And Guardian is wasting so much time. Eventually he walks around the corner, but only to meet his demise. Sponge. Big play there. Great cool-headed play, really. Very cool-headed. Very cool-headed. Specifically against a team like Navi, when you guys are definitely the underdog, you come in here with the less amount of experience. He knows exactly the angle to speak out, peek out, so he doesn't overexpose his shoulder too early. You give a guy like Guardian a shot, even though he's low HP, mm -hmm. there's a chance he's going to rip your head off with it. So really well played by Sponge, even just to win that. So and that was also big by JKS, basically, holding his, uh, holding his own. I mean, he got lucky that Na'Vi were so convinced that he was playing Monster. They used their nades over there. They both were looking there. And he steps out and manages to take Edward immediately. That was huge, turning it into a 1v1. And then Sponge has got all the advantage in the world at that point, especially when he plays it so smart, so intelligently. So now, well, we're in a pause, but it looks like he's back into it. Yeah, JKS so was in and out really quick. Quick, quick. unpause. I like these pauses, Sadokist. These are cool I'll pauses. I bet you do. I wonder how Flaren feels about these ones compared to the ones you guys had earlier. Flaren, man, he's like chilling out in bed right now. He's got the lobster and the champagne. You know, that's, that's living it. God damn. I want to be like him. <laughs> Not all of us can be legends. <laughs> Fair enough. Sponge going to throw the nade out. Just look to some early damage, but it's AKs across the board. This time some more utilities to work with his... They pick up that round, they'll have a slightly better buy, but again, resetting this bonus, so it's important they pick up the second one, and with Seize taking down Azza with a nice shot, it's Guardian to respond into Havoc. Smoke out now on Monster, he'll readdress his position because they've got five up, and there's only two now remaining as Seized. As we see from Bathroom, is able to collect his first kill in the round, actually pick that back, his second kill in the round. As now he looks towards Sponge as well, that flash, though, as he goes to the repeat, blinds only himself, and that gives JKS an opportunity to take down Edward, but... Still not a lot of map control. Have the bomb up, so a bit of a chance here, but watch out because there is a flank coming in JKS. Knife out, luckily pulls that AK back in time because here comes the peak from Seize. Goes for the hat trick, looking for more. Not going to get the fourth, but Sponge left in a lowly one on three with just nine HP. Yeah, gets headshot there by Seize. Seize did everything he needed to do. He got a triple kill. He got the info. They know where the last man is. Zeus hears him run by. I mean, it's just basically everything lining up here for Navi to end this 9-6. Free shot there for Zeus. Closes it 9-6 the end of the first half. And Navi, just an incredible recovery from them. Yeah. No problem at all, marching all the way to a very respectable scoreline, considering they were down 5-0 at the beginning of this half, with Renegades basically nipping at them, so... Yeah, and, and Renegades only able to collect one, one gun run once their economy broke, so... Yeah, that's you, not... You gotta, it's not great, but you gotta wonder what their, their perspective on this is. You get up 5 nothing, you'd imagine their goal is to get towards 7 or 8. Mm -hmm. So they come up a little bit short, I still think, with Na'Vi, again, going to the T side on this map. They're more than efficient. They're actually... You go back to Mirage, that whole wall of smoke strategy that like Kaboom brought back, Keat Stars brought back to MLG, and it was like the first time you'd seen it in a while, and it was like Titan, Titan. Navi used to do that too. And they're really good at smoking out sites without getting entry kills and getting the bomb down. And this is another bomb site, bomb site A. 
that's incredibly good for that. And their entrances at B are even better than that. So they've got a lot of potential in this map. And Pistol, they're already looking toward B. Yeah, and they go for a raid boss to add on to, right onto Edward. Molotov goes down, but they're not going to really care too much. Guardian ready, waiting right on the edge. And he actually gets a headshot. Perfect shot there. Opening things up, taking out JKS. Seized will well, just annihilate Havoc. No trouble at all. Seized actually going back to for more. Spots him out. He's got that 5-7. All of a sudden, that must sting. Renegades getting slammed with their own gun. Another triple kill for Seized. Two for Guardian. And Navi making very short work of Renegades in that round. Get dunked on. That was, that was well played all the way through that by Navi. Slam. Okay. And welcome ahead. to the jam. Right. So I had that whole soundtrack. Dude, that is like it's legendary stuff. It's the good stuff, except it, it comes out at parties every now and then. I actually love that with the uh, the Dota 2 video. You know, with like animation oh, yeah. and everything. There you go, buddy. That was such a sick video. Okay, there you guys go. Go, go ahead on YouTube. You guys can check it out. You know, Slam, Anti Mage, you'll find it. And uh, well, 10 to 6 the score line here. Yeah, and it's going to be rifles mostly out this time. So Flamey goes for the P90. He's the only one in the SMG. The rest. AKs or Galil's in the P90, that's why he brought it out. Rust is in, quickly uses all the ammo it has, but eventually does go down. Edward's able to get the trade, and not only that, took down Sponge on his right just before that, as we can see the blood splattered on the wall on the entry from the midpoint of the bathrooms, and now they've got control of the A site. Late rotation coming over, but it should be pretty straightforward. Havoc might be able to wreak some Havoc, though, if he gets in the right position with this P250, able to collect one. Instead, he goes for an early peek. He's spotted right away. Guardian drops, and JKS, Deagle. Wow, Whoa. that was sick. At least we saw something cool out of it, but it's all we're going to get is the... Yeah. SMG will close the round. It's actually picked back up. Interesting that they had the P90 and then they actually had four rifles and then they dropped the, the Galil to pick up the P90. Yeah, right? There you go, man. Well, can you, can you blame him? Galil. It's got 50 tro troll teeth. It doesn't shoot bullets. Yeah, exactly. It's like a billion bullets and they're all for you. Like, no, thank you. Galil is fun, but not up there. Not up there. Just, uh, just uh, appreciate how visceral it always looks when it's like guarding with the op or when you get that deagle shot. It's just like, boom, sit down. Lie down, it's time for a nap. And while well, Renegades might do, be doing more of that, Sweet Dreams as a... And Guardian will catch out JKS. Wow, very quick round coming up here for Na'Vi now at this point. It's going to be Havoc left with 4 HP, but he's pinned down and he'll get hunted down by Flamey in the end. Uh, two kills with the MAC-10 and a single one with a... And, uh, with a well, another one as well, so... Great economy across the board for Na'Vi going into this next round. Renegades back to the wall now. But I do appreciate the fact that they aren't going with the current meta, or at least like the Envy meta, where it's like buy helmet Kevlar all the time. They actually played for this 19th round. They played so that Yam could afford that AWP so that they could afford a kit and still get some incendiaries. They really wanted to uh, emphasize the utility and their sniper. So Renegades changing it up, but this is it. It has to happen in this round for them. Sponge would have been the one to make that call, and he's the one that actually has the kit as well, but it's concerning to see only one. It's in the A site, so it can rotate quickly. He's not playing aggressively or overcommitting either way. And Havoc's going to open it up, but it's traded because Seized is able to slide in. And now JKS has to worry about both angles. So as he gets into a better position on the slope, he gets eventually dropped down again by Seized. And Sponge is now trying to be the one to recover for that. But Yam, there's that op you talked about. They played for the 19th round to bring it out. It's already made a contribution, and Sponge knows the Bomb's going down. Actually does collect Seized. I thought for sure he was going to run out of bullets before he snapped back to the left. Unfortunately, Bomb does go down before he gets that kill, but this retake is looking awesome. Inside the smoke, they're gonna hold this defuse, and Sponge is the one that's on it. Lobnade goes in, Sponge has the HP to survive, and they get it. Zeus now just needs to hightail it for the hills, because that AK might be precious. It's gonna be 12 to seven. Nice round by Renegades. What was that bomb plant? Zeus clearly not aware of where that bomb was planted. Did they not have that? Did they not communicate that, where that they were slightly off on a standard plant? Very odd situation there, because Zeus, he had all day to go for the spray through that smoke. If he only knew where the bomb was, that would have been a clearly dead Sponge. So that's a, that's a nifty, or that's a mistake that really is going to cost Na'Vi. Renegade's now getting to breathe a little bit of fresh air, whereas Na'Vi are going to have to tap into that bank that they wanted to just carry them through the rest of this half. No, a little bit of pressure now on the Ukrainian team. Well, the mixed team, essentially. I mean, Ukrainian, Russian. Nah, we'll yeah, we'll call them They're all over the Hellraisers place. is from Antarctica, right? So we can call these guys Ukrainian. Kazakhstan. Shout out to Adrian. All right. A little bounce flash that blinds out Seize, but he's already inside the water well. And that means that Seize will get the shot on the Havoc. Despite that the fire is put in place, it doesn't matter. He's got the map control. Shots, more shots actually going out here. And four players still alive here for Renegades. Havoc showing himself once again. Actually, no. If I'm not mistaken, that was Yam taking that peek. Likes to live life on the edge. I'm curious. They're both kind of stacking up on that B side, expecting the same kind of play from Navi, but we do have progress being made here in mid. Zeus kind of dancing on the edge of the smoke, waiting for it to clear. Sponge still here, though, and a fresh smoke going down to block off mid. So Renegades, you got to appreciate this as well. This is kind of what they need to be doing, that you need to challenge mid, or challenge the T side mid, to not allow them all the space in the world to set up and just kind of, like, show up on that A site. Sponge is looking a little bit over-aggressive, though. 
He has an indication they're there. He goes to that late smoke, he goes for the spam, and yet he sticks around. It's almost like he was expecting one player, not a whole team. Yeah, and as I needed to hit that shot, that's a must-hit shot right there. I think he did get the headshot on the Seized. But Seized, after that spray, I think he was kind of embarrassed because now it's like every time you look at his name, he's got a, a triple kill. Like, this guy's just going ham right now. Yeah. Way back at the start of this one with the side order of Yams. Well, oh, no, Yam is still alive. Damn, my joke doesn't work. They rarely do. Oh, nicely Yam. done oh, there, there. Yam. There's your side order of Yam. It's going to take down Edward either way. Navi poised to take yet another round. As the bomb is sure to detonate, it's going to be JKS to at least knock the gun out of Seized's hands, but again, they start it off. I mean, Sponge goes for that late smoke, and then they get caught, and you said it as it goes down. They all rotate back to A. Boom. Just completely didn't hold it. They, they got aggressive. You're right. They tried to take the fight initially and use their utilities wise, but man, Navi, no fear. They just walk right through it. Yeah, so another round for Navi. 13 rounds on the board now, and that pretty much resets Renegade's money. Luckily for them, they hold on to the AWP, and they're going to go for a force buy in this situation. It looks like Havoc has been dropped in M4. He might decide to pass that off. And there's just enough here for Azza and everybody else to get equipped with, a, with, a, with basically a handful of rifles. Sponge sticking on the P250, smoke nade, but look at that. They have two kits, very light on the nades here, Renegades. And so Navi have to be feeling very confident now. They need three rounds, but if they win this one, it's going to be a weak force buy for Renegades to try and keep them off a of map point. This is looking excellent here for Navi, and they're going to be applying some pressure here on Link. This is basically Zeus trying to get in here and get a little bit of info, maybe get into Sewer as the rest of his teammates go through Monster onto the B site. And JKS, JKS has woken up. Yeah, he's got the first one now, but it's Seuss to come right back into Sponge. That puts JKS in a better position here atop the mountain, back toward jungle, but hasn't been able to hit that shot over top. That's going to allow the bomb to go down, and in fact, that's exactly what happens right now as Flamey's going to take down Yam. Guardian's all the way, way out toward the short pipe, and that allows everyone to focus onto him, and Seize easily just comes back to pick up one on Havoc before Azza comes back in, but it's down to a two-on-two, two, so still a bit of a chance here for Renegades. They're going to re-smoke this, and I imagine they're going to try and hold the stick, but no, they're actually going to go for the fight. It's a trade, it's down to the one-on-one, -on -one and Flamey gets dropped. They will get the defuse, well played by Renegades, but losing track of the bomb a little bit here. Quad kill for Azza at the end of that. Huge play from him, basically making the difference in that round. JKS as well, starting off the party, managing to pick up the initial frag to slow Navi down. He just locked on there, that was so sick to see. So Renegades definitely keeping their hopes alive here. Navi, ample money, especially with the bomb plant. They're going to have everything they need here to get a buy. But that's basically Navi just saying, you know what, we are so close, we could break them. Let's just go for more, more B play because we've had success with it so far. This time around, however, though, JKS just shook his head. He said, no, not having any of it. And it has as well. Doesn't actually throw it. Cancels the animation halfway through, so keeps the Molotov. As look at this aggressive peek from Yaman. Oh, one more step he would have had. He goes to the knife. I'm confused as why he's pulling the knife out. Obviously, he was looking to turn and retreat, but instead he stays forward. They catch him with it, and now Edward's going to take advantage of this position. As the Zeus taking down Sponge, that just fell apart in a complete... Disaster and extremely quickly for Renegades. Now Guardian's turn. Yeah, Guardian that lights it up. I mean, Zeus basically just going full god mode right there. Just lightning bolts flying all over the place. Smiting people. They've been smoting. Smoting. And well, Renegades, <laughs> it leaves JKS alone. He's actually going to the B site. He's going to try and keep them off of this, but the smoke goes down to block it off. And Sponge, this will be a timeout. This will be the tactical pause coming in here from Sponge, basically wanting to take his time to, to go over what needs to happen, but... I don't know, you kind of wish that it was done before their backs were really fully against the wall here, because as we can see, the state of their economy is still so very low. I mean, what, do you, do you go for the save here and try and play for overtime? You let Navi get up to 15 rounds? It's really tough. Oh, you have to. At, the, at this buy right now, you have to. Like, all you're going to be able to do is force up pistols. You're better to get a full utility, full defensive play in the next round. So, the, I mean, overtime is basically conceded at this point. This is where you're wondering, you know, it's like, what would Happy do? And then Happy would just be like, Pfft. Silly question. Go for the Be buy. Happy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. See, it's, it's like the permanent. I, don't, I can't remember the artist's name, but that guy who like, sings all of his songs, like, um, makes all the music with his mouth. Because like, I'm happy. That one? No, 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 not that one. That's, uh, no, it's like, boo, 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 doo, 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 doo. Uh, yeah. Right? You know, that's like the permanent soundtrack that's just going through Happy's head at all times. I am lurking around the map, going to shoot this guy in the back. Da, 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 da. Right? See, that's how it is. Well, they're definitely taking their time to consider this. They pretty much have to play it for overtime, I, I, I still say, because you want the utilities to come out. Sponge is, look at him, deep in thought, eyes to the back of the head, going off a memory of what he knows from Navi and what he's remembered from these rounds to try and come up with a set plan to shut them down initially. I mean, it, is it worth it to, to throw a Hail Mary toward it? I mean, Yam tried it that round to get caught, and That's that means they might, they might be waiting for it. If he had to take another step, he almost had that shot, too.
That's the, that's the rough thing right there. That's the problem, is that, the fa is that Yam, if he hits that shot, great. If he doesn't, we see what happens. Zeus just presses up behind him, and he manages to just completely press the advantage because Yam going down forces the rotation out, forces people out of position, and Zeus is probably just thinking like, yeah, buddy, get those kills. Just rack them up. And we will have the force buy coming out from Renegades now, so let's see what they have in store for us here. And it's going to be straight up the top mid, it seems. And again, Sponge getting real close, getting into connector. Wow. He's going to try and challenge there. Double nade, so Na'Vi taking precautions, making sure that Renegades can't actually get up there get up close with the pistols. And look at the buy, too. They do go for the shotgun for Azza. So this is about as aggressive as they could get with what they had. So I'm a little bit, a little bit surprised, but Sponge obviously manning up in the situation. We'll see if it pays off. They got that stack toward the construction, but right now they're just going to go right past it. Navi's already working toward A. There's only one player there, and that player is Yam with the CZ75. But now he's made the call. Okay, all five players are coming back over to A. This will be a stack by the time Navi come in. Mm -hmm. This is such a sick call by Sponge. He's going to be in position here. Yam is actually going to get close to long. And there it is. Oh, he nearly gets the timing right. And he does recommit. Gets that kill versus Flame. He hits the timing perfectly as Flamey tries to come out through the smoke. And now he gets a gun to work with as well. Interesting that Navi could still recommit to that. Because having lost that player, they, they had the option to go back through Link to go back down to the bomb site B. Instead, they give up a gun. They give up a rifle. And it all works out for Renegades to the start. But Sponge, after he goes down, as does Havoc. As only able to collect one more with that shotgun. And Guardian taking down JKS. It leaves as And from that range, unfortunately... The mag's got no swag. It's on to match point. No, no joy. No joy at all. And has a, he's going to have money to go straight up. Yeah, exactly. I was wondering. I was wondering. He goes straight for the swag seven again. Double scout play here for Renegades. But basically, this is, this is like lights out almost. Because 7,000 on Guardian. He can buy an op again if he wants. He can drop for his mates. Navi, they have all the room in the world. Seven rounds, basically, to close out this first map and take it to map two. So, and, and it's and train as well. by now as well. For the same reason, right? So, it does go to train. Yeah, I know. I know. Look. That's going to be an interesting one. I still think Renegades can do some decent damage on a map like Train, especially if they get another good start. But Guardian, there it is. Tries to force it, Sponge. And oh, Guardian, that's the thing. That's, that's the point you have to make when you talk about Guardian. It's just that if he, if he is anywhere near you with his crosshair, if you go for the peak, he will hit that flick. Like, he will actually land that so consistently. So Sponge going for the re-peak when Guardian is in the vicinity, that's just not the right play. You got to force it, right? Sponge is trying to go for the heroics, but just not meant to be. Havoc does hold his own and take out Seas, so he's got an AK to play with now, and he's in the back lines. Bomb is a bit exposed here. Zeus is going to have to start pushing up the top mid, or at least waiting for some mates to come back and help him. Goes for the fake with the pistol throw, and no one's sold because they're waiting on the inside of smoke, so... Thank you very much. Just take the easy shot. This Flamey back into ward. Check the truck. It's going to be JKS to pop out. Actually beats him to the pit ticket there as he gets the P250 in position, but it's Guardian there. He closes it out. 16-8. Navi up one map and one map away from moving on to play. Flip side as our last semifinalist. Yeah, and there it is. And they just look so nonplussed right now. Basically, like, that, that was no challenge, really. I don't think Navi were stretched at all. They just... They just kind of walked right through. I think it's going to be Renegades who, who really have to try and step up their game individually. And I'm sure that Sponge is going to be talking their ears off right now in the halftime, trying to prep them off a train. I mean, we were saying at the beginning of this that uh, the Renegades can be the favorite team on train, that they do feel that they are the favorite team, at least, as one of the top teams on the map. But, I mean, it is still Na'Vi, and it's still Zeus. And but, ever since, but, like, 1.6, that's, that's been one of their favorite maps. It's a little different now, though. You do have to consider that. The meta right now is sort of going from what people remember, and it's slowly shifting. The thing that favors them that it's a new map is that Sponge is very creative, mm -hmm. and he takes the time. Sure. Like you said, he was the one that instantly figured out the timing of the, the change on Overpass that tell nothing on Twitter. He sits, he strategizes probably more than most in-game leaders, in fact. So he might have something here and there that'll catch them off, but overall, yeah, Navi, they should be able to adapt to it pretty quickly. Well, Again, it just comes out to how many rounds he can catch them off guard, how many rounds they can get a start. If he gets oh. momentum rolling, there's a chance. There's combination plays to be made here as well, because clearly Seized, Edward, and Guardian, they've got their eyes in right now. Yeah. And that's a real problem for you, because you're getting, like, Train's still a solid op map, and then two rifles like that that can do damage, it's going to be real hard to crack into those sites. But guys, enough of that discussion. We'll be getting into it in just a few moments. We're going to have a quick word from our sponsors before we get into Train here between Renegades and Navi. and control that position as we are going to jump right into this at any second. Yeah, here we go. On command. But the A site doesn't have that same, like, legendary op pick that was, like, overpowered from Z connector to C or T connector, where T you just main, shot, yeah. yeah, T main, where you shot underneath the train. Yeah. You kind of actually have to expose yourself a little more, but there's still, like, a direct alley between green and blue. I call oh. it gooch between the two, the two, like, the lanes. So, like, okay. you go behind the, the A site bomb train, and you shoot straight into the new T main. It's a gooch? I call it gooch. I'll gooch. let you figure out why. You're calling it gooch? Okay. okay. I think I figured it out. All right, cool. But uh, Guardian is going to go straight into Brown Halls here. And early aggression, actually. And two big kills to start things off. Flamey's been made into a raid boss, and he actually, he actually makes that work. Azza's already gone. 
Flamey opening things up strong for Na'Vi, and this is really going to throw Renegades for a loop. Now they have to wonder what the hell do we do. Sponge holding the back line, gets instant headshot, and he gets chased down by Flamey. Great job there. Na'Vi just relentless right now with the pressure, going straight out onto the A side. Havoc stands his ground, starts taking some shots. He spots a man in the back line as well, but he will get overwhelmed. Backstabbed by Zeus, and Flamey will pick up a triple kill. Two for Zeus, three for Flamey, and one big fat pistol round for Na'Vi on the T side of train, which is excellent. That's the start that they were looking for. Where Renegades, they got the strong start and overpass. This time around, it's going to be Na'Vi putting the pressure on the Aussies who have, uh, who have changed camps. Renegades are now the Ukrainian team, and Na'Vi are from Australia. And my, uh, my battery pack and my headsets died, so unfortunately I didn't quite hear what you said. But That's fine, I'm going to talk to We're going to get into the next round, and actually we're sticking with a similar meta that we saw in the first game where it's going to be four AKs as opposed to a little more SMG happy that a lot of people have been lately. Nice, Nate by C is going to take down Azza. So JKS and Yam, the last two remaining, and Yam's got this uh, Deagle out, but JKS, what can he do with the P250? Bomb already down, and uh, now they're on it. I already told them. All right, sounds good. So it's going to be Guardian with, uh, with the Galil. And they're just kind of moseying about. They're hoping to catch out Renegades. I'm just going to keep talking really low like this so Sadokiss can't actually hear what I say. So Sadokiss, man, seriously. Suspenders, really? Okay, then. So, yeah, Sato, man, like, this is looking like a really good solid second round right now. I know you just said something about me, and then you made it really obvious, and I have no idea what you said. So, four rifles, man. This is a great save so far for Na'Vi. Perfect second round as far as they're concerned, whereas Yam, he's looking to get a, a parting shot first with the Deeg. to tweet me what you said, by the way, I will, uh, I will give you a skin. And <laughs> okay, then, buddy. Friends. It's going to so. be a blue skin, you know, from a case wow, worth, it? like, five cents. Someone tweet me. All right, but I'll, I'll hook you up with one of Mo's skins that he lost. <laughs> Didn't he lose like 60 grand worth of yeah, skins or something? Yeah, let's not talk about it. He's probably... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's insane. What's also insane is Na'Vi's lead right now because Renegades, they can't really do too much here. They are going to get quickly overwhelmed, although Azza does step in. And what is this? Sponge actually returning, and they've turned this into a bit of a melee. Zeus with the spray down. will be able to pick up one, but he runs out of bullets. He drops down to 36 HP. HE is going sailing in and sponge down to 29 HP. He's got the Deagle, though, and he's going to be looking to see if he can't find that headshot. Locks onto one, looks for it, but nope. Flamey denies him. So here I am raving, ranting about how Navi are doing such a great job. They actually lose quite a few there in a round where it should have been a bit Look, I, I know you got a lot of pride in your suits, but really, man, the suspenders? You don't you love to take that blow? <laughs> Come on, man. I, I got a lot of tweets, but Elephant Rufus was the first. Suspenders is where it's at, bro. Yeah, man. It's a good call. Suspendicus. Like, Vendetta's got my back on it. Suspendicus? Yeah, Vendetta came up with that one. Either way, we are finally into the first gun round. This is the one that's definitely going to make the most amount of difference in the game. We'll see if Renegades can claw back, because it's Na'Vi this time that have the early lead. And Azza's going to be the first to do so as he takes down Seuss. He foresees the oh, almost gets caught with an A. Does, in fact, this sponge slides out, gets him off guard, and it's all Renegades after that, completely shutting down this outer sight. There's Edward. He's going to drop the last. Gets one kill at least, but what a round from Renegades. All over the place, and what a change of pace from Na'Vi as well. We are definitely not accustomed to seeing this team go fast. I mean, they have been making changes, and they do tend to throw in some quick rounds here and there, but right out the gates, looking to catch Renegades off guard with the uh, sheer aggression, basically. It doesn't work out for them at all. They've got plenty of money to rebuy, so it's not going to be the end of the world, but that was perfect for Renegades, and that's going to be a big confidence boost here for the Australian team. But uh, we have a little bit of a pause coming in here, as you guys can see. Tech. But um, we're going to come over here to us. Thanks. Thanks so much, Semler. <laughs> All right, so this is a reasonable start. Renegades obviously dominated that outer bomb side push. Hmm? All right, I'm just going to stop. I was no, going to be no, serious. No, you're, just, you're, you're messing around. No, I mean, look, the fact that they've already got a, a 3T side right now from Navi and they've got these in control outer, but then it cuts cuts entirely short when the guns come out. I want to see what Yam can get going up with, with the AWP, if they can build up into that quickly. Oh, if they can get it quick, yeah. Exactly, because last game he started to get some room, but he didn't, unfortunately, uh, really open up a whole lot of, a lot of space for him. There's a couple rounds he had some nice opening kills, late, you know, not, nothing huge impact, I guess is what I'm saying. I want to see his impact be a lot stronger. I want to see him get the early frag, you know, potentially shut down all the entries from Navi, and that outer sight's going to be hot and heavy, because Navi's super good with smoke executions. That's the thing, right? When are we going to start seeing the smoke uh, plays come out here from Navi? What, it's a bit difficult to use those against Renegade, though, because Renegades, they are also a team that were really early on thinking, okay, how do we counter this? They were the ones to come up with putting a man up in Sniper, and then the counter to that, which is, you know, they figured out a smoke for Sniper, and then all sorts of different plays, right? So Renegades, yeah. they've done their homework on this map. So I'm not sure if, like, the straight smoke executes is the answer, or, you know, are the answer for, for Navi. 
I think it's more uh, pick play, basically, that's going to have to open things up for Navi. But you're right, Yam has got that AWP now, but Guardian has got his as well. There's still a boost you can actually do inside Z Connector, by the way. Look at this fast push. I'll get back to that as Yam. There it is. He gets that early spawn, gets the op immediately out to the upper spot. We talked about that at the start of the game. He gets the early pick, able to fall back, and now we're already going to see it start to roll. So this is a good sign, but there is actually a boost you can do on top of that ticket booth inside Z Connector, yeah. and there's really no way to smoke it. Even if you drop it on the top side of the bomb train, mm -hmm. on the nuclear symbol, yeah. it doesn't go far enough. It doesn't bloom no matter where it lands far enough to the left to cover off the shot into A main. So you can actually still shoot by the E box and get a clean shot. So oh, I'm waiting push. for someone to come up with a, a wicked smoke that lands like on E box to cancel that out. Yeah, that's well, that's going to be the, uh, the the main question, right? And JW really favors that boost, the one you're talking about right now. So it's it's true. We that, these teams are going to be familiar with it. But right now, it turns out to a straight-out fight, and now somehow Navi have clawed their way back into a three-on-three -three situation. Going on to the A side, Edward will find the kill onto Havoc, and then Flamey gets caught on the ladder. As uh, going big, he's got 13 HP, and he gets a triple kill, quad kill total in the end. But on the A side in particular, in the end, when it mattered most, he came through big. And all of that off of Flamey getting caught on a ladder. That is so frustrating for Flamey and for Navi in general. If he gets that kill onto Azza, that's a bomb plan for Navi, and it's a completely different situation. So. Definitely a bit of a setback there for Na'Vi, but a huge play for Renegades. And, well, you know, we said it at the beginning of this map. We need individual play to make the difference here for Renegades, I think. Plays like that is what's going to put these guys ahead. Here's the smoke round coming out now from Na'Vi towards that A side, so we'll see how they decide to set that up. This is actually really cool, too, to see Renegades going for this type of boost over top of the smoke and control Ivy, because we're seeing teams, like, if you look at the way VP play this, they'll come in and smoke intentionally one side or the other and then wrap to the opposite side that they smoke so they can isolate players in the back side of the site, pull the defense away from the bomb zone, and then rush in from main after they win that exchange. So it'll be cool to see if either of these teams sort of play that style at the other bomb site. Meanwhile, Renegades, again, just dominating this inner site, have every angle completely closed out, and Bomb goes down low for Na'Vi. That's a bit of a good, good situation to yeah, have. That's a great turn of events. That's the whole point of that round for Na'Vi. Get the bomb down. Make the investment for the smokes, but it's all about that bonus money, that bonus 800 per player that they're going to make off of losing that round once they get the bomb planted. So solid play there for Na'Vi. That means the AWP for Guardian there. And everybody buying up on Na'Vi's side. Seized, as always, taking the hit economically. He's the one who usually ends up dropping for teammates or making sure that everybody's equipped before worrying about himself. So he'll be playing with less utility, but that should be fine here considering he's hitting some pretty sick headshots. And wow, they just go straight out T-Main. Good information gained here by Azza, though, and he's not, gonna get over, he's not going to overextend. This allows for Renegades to try and set up the defense once again around the fact that Edward is through. They're already getting nades on his head. This will take back Guardian, though, with Azza getting another early kill. And Managing to fall back, his teammate actually took a little pop shot at him when he came through that smoke, but only down 7 HP from where he started off, and that leaves him with just enough to take down Edward as he goes down on 24 on his second exit. But seized is low, now Flamey's gonna divide. This is where they'll start to pull, because Azza, or rather, excuse me, not Azza. Who is that playing in that position? It's actually gonna be Havoc, has to fall back a little bit more and be aware of that presence. As he does that, Zeus is able to take down Azza, so outside becomes actually quite open because they've rotated two to enter on the fact that there's been no bombs showing up. Bombs actually in the hallways right now. So if Zeus can actually get one more kill, or if Seize can find one more, they'll work to this outer with the split, but so far they are committing. In fact, Seize is gonna go back up the ladder himself and join over with the bomb carrier. 30 seconds, so the commitment's gotta come in here in the next 10 seconds. Yeah, exactly, they're running out of time, but Renegades are doing a good job. They aren't peaking, that's the key play here. Hold their positions, don't show anything to Na'Vi. Don't make it easy for them. 20 seconds left, and Havoc, he's on the edge right here. Seized, will take the shot and miss. But this is still going to give the opening for Na'Vi to start pushing towards the site. Zeus just bum rushes it straight out into the open. Flamey is here as well. They're trying to converge. Taking out Havoc is going to be key, and they do, ma they do manage it just in time. But JKS from the back line is going to be able to pick up that kill on Zeus. But not before the bam bomb gets planted, and now Flamey. He brings it to a two-on-one. It's all on JKS, and what's worse is that Na'Vi know where he's playing from so they can set up appropriately with the after plan situation here. Seized and Flamey now playing off of each other, and that bomb planted out in the open. JKS needs to land the shot fast. He's trying to give himself an edge. Refreshes the smoke, gets a full reload, and now it's time to go to work. Rub your hands together, but Seized not interested in giving him a shot. Just takes the fight to him right off the bat, and that's perfectly fine. Seized, 17 HP. He gets the drop, but even if he dies, so much time is ticked off that bomb that it shouldn't be a situation that his teammate can lose. Confidence that to pick up another gun round. Still haven't seen him go for a B hit, really. Yeah, actually, I mean, you're right. They, we, they are kind of avoiding it. They are putting player, two players, and Renegades are taking that into account. What well, with Yam pushing up into upper halls, right? Yeah. They want to get that punish because Na'Vi are putting two in the brown halls early, but they really haven't committed to enter at all. But again, that's when Yam has the spawn and the off. This time he's got the rifle, and here we go. They're going to actually go for the hit. So JKS playing passively, bottom of the ramp, in a position where he can't spot the footsteps go by. 
So he's just going to have to wait for the information. He's solo. The closest one to the rotation point is in Z Connector. That's Havoc. He'd have to be quick on his heels. In fact, Havoc's going the wrong way. He's heading out toward A to support from Ivy. So here it comes. Flashes in. Smoke's already on lower. There won't be any line of sight toward Guardian. But luckily, there's a Molotov. That means he's got to go further inside the site. And JKS, he could try and get in behind the spools. So far, though, he hasn't spotted anyone, and Havoc's the one to get back in time to spam through the smoke. Take down Flamey, and now it's into JKS and Havoc pushing forward aggressively. They actually turn this back extremely quickly. Zeus TK and Guardian, interestingly enough, and before JKS takes him down. And the fact that Navi don't get a quick entry there, you can see the impact that it had. They didn't know what to do. They were just like, why isn't anybody peeking us? Why can't we find an easy headshot and just start things here? And more importantly, why is that Molotov there? Because once they knew that Havoc was on the other side of that smoke, they're never just going to like bum rush him. You can't rush through. Exactly. But you have to pull an MBK. You have to just go. No fear. Immediately. You don't waste any time. You just go right through that smoke. But they didn't. They got bogged down. And you can't allow that to happen if you're Navi. So this is going to be a round of pistols for them. P250s, and again, straight into Brown Hall's Guardian taking point, looking to upper, not going to find anybody. So now you can start looking towards that B site, but the Molotov HE combo is going to force him out of there. And well, Navi now, they're going to slow things down. A minute 18, they've put two guys back in a T-spawn, one towards T-main, and they're actually starting to snake their way out onto the A site. But this is all in a, the intention, intent here is basically to try and draw Renegades off the B site. They want to see if they can't just make that one man there instead of two. Amy sees that nade go by, knows it was fresh out because it was still on the rise to the apex of the throw, but he's able to get on Yam quickly. Havoc right back on top of him, though. So right now the pistols for Navi not really doing a whole lot. As Havoc gives the advantage firmly to his team and the HP dwindling away. Look at Guardian, 2 HP left, 65 for Edward, 57 for Seized. And Edward, at least getting back, he's actually done a significant amount of work here because he's got an M4 as well. That bomb's down just in front of us. He has to recover that. He's not exposing his back, and he's going to go back to take down JKS. He could actually make this work because he's not looking the correct direction right now. Azza has no idea that no one's coming from ladder. He's smartly not going to expose himself, but still needs to be aware that Edward is going to be coming around from the train, and that's a very big kill because now it's Guardian on 2 HP. He may have just saved the round. Yeah, that's the, that's the, the kill that just won it. And now Guardian... Aza knows that he's up close. There's only 10 seconds left. He needs to get the instant headshot basically onto Aza. He's got no other choice, but Aza's just running away. He's going to play it safe. There is time for Guardian to get the plant, and perfect timing for Aza to come back in and take a look at that site. Great denial there. And this guy's playing smart today. That was sick. No. To be fair, though, that was a situation they almost should have never have been in with. Caesar, excuse me, Zeus able to, or Edward rather. There we go. Finally figured it out in the end. Edward able to pull that back that quickly with two mm -hmm. pistol kills and then a free rifle and then getting overlooked entirely by JKS because he thought he pushed down toward Ivy. Well, that was a burly play right there. That's what it was. He does have the more manly beard. Ooh. Wow, it didn't do as much uh, damage as I thought it would, that HE. I thought it was going to be full onto, uh, onto C's, but he manages to dodge the majority of it. Edward. Right on the edge of the smoke. Flash goes through. He's going to go jumping along. And Guardian and C is two kills there to start things off here. Navi getting worked on. Edward holds his own, takes out Havoc, but we lose Zeus in the process. Still, JKS alive on the A side. He's going to be the point man here for Renegades. He's taking the time to reload. So this is a perfect start here, but Yam is rotating in. He's only got the op, though, and he is 1v4 now. Seized so very low. Guardian as well, but the damage has been done. Gets the first shot. It's a 1v3. Bomb is not yet planted, but Yam, he's looking to change things up. Is he going to the back line? He will be going to the back line, but he gets spotted, and that's all the information that they need, Navi. Bomb will get planted now. They can set up appropriate after plant positions, and life just got a whole lot more difficult here for Yam. Specifically where they know his location, so look at the positions they're setting up on. They're going to watch his re-entry, and Flamey just waits for him. Yeah, and that's going to reset. Flamey even being able to save that AWP, that's a huge win there. Guardian now, he can have an op for free. They can trade up an AK for somebody else, save some money there, or make sure that somebody's full bind. This is big for Na'Vi, whereas Renegades, their money's in shambles. 3,900, now 3,400 for Azza. He goes for the 5.7, or not the 5.7, sees at 75, rather, and Sponge has got that P250, but that's the extent of their arsenal. Renegades, this is just going to be a feed, a feed round, pretty much, for them. Feed or a feast? feast As you would, so it's interesting that two rounds after, they had the eco themselves, based on the, I mean, the, the damage they did on that eco to get to a one-on-one, -on -one and then picking up the next round, look how quickly it can turn. And Renegades back to just pistols. Navi looking to get their sixth round on the T side. I think they could easily push toward eight or nine in this map, but we'll see how it goes because Renegades are looking pretty good when the guns are out. Right now they're not. And as such, they just drop as quick as flies. It's JKS that's left. And he might have hoped he was a wasp rather than a fly, but he's got no sting. No, uh, it's been yanked out. So now we go into it six rounds here on the board for Navi. Pretty standard fare in the end. 
And it's a double eco situation here for Renegades. And I'm glad to see that they aren't going for anything crazy, like trying to attempt a force in this situation. They were willing to let Navi get up to seven so that, Aza can, or for, so that Yam can basically have his op and everybody else get fully geared out. And it could be another gamble, although they aren't really going to go for it. They're putting two on B early. Are they going to go and try and get a push going here? We do have Yam setting up for upper once again. It's going to come down to timing, essentially. Have it getting close pop dog, pretty much in JW's favorite spot. And Yam's been spotted out, so now that's some good information for Navi to play with. Pop Flash goes down, but Havoc's gonna get up there. Flame, he catches him out though, and sees, takes out JKS. Yam will get some support though, he takes out Guardian, so now he could potentially have an AWP to play with. But it's not meant to be. a strong word, yeah, exactly. Potential's a strong word unless it's, and it's wasted unless it's acted upon. As Zeus now on top of the train, spawning up Sponge, last one left, 10 HP, looking for that Deagle shot. Something to work with, in fact, he's bodied him enough that he will eventually drop him down, can't hit the headshot, and Edward comes through, down he goes. And Navi on seven. Gun's coming back out, though, and a lot of money to work with. So we'll see if Yam goes immediately to that op. And he actually does have the B-spawn this time. But that's why he has a higher headshot percentage in the stats. It just doesn't seem like he wants to go op every time. Like, he's not a dedicated opper. I mean, he's the dedicated opper for Renegades, but he's not a specialist opper like Guardian is, who will always go for the opera, like Kenny, right? These players... Whatever you do, JDM, you know, these kinds of players, they, they're the off specialist. That's the gun that they go for every single time. If they got 4750 somewhere on that team, they're going to be going for the buy. And this is why. Guardian has a great shot taking out Yam. And that opens up Alley. And he decides to push on that as well. So very nice stuff. He could actually manage to hit that shot, but he's just going to get the timing off there. And Sponge going for the spray. No joy there. Guardian getting tagged down to 78, but that's not going to be good enough. And the 2 on 2 setup here for Navi initially just works out perfectly. Now they can just constrict onto Renegades. Constrict Renegades, rather. Whatever works. Yeah, whatever works. And that's the plan, but... They're actually going to fall off of Ivy, despite that there's still one player left out. Windows broken out by default every single round. This allows Zeus to throw that smoke out on top of the A. Bombside, in fact, is going further than that. It's going to go to the one alley, because they still think there's a presence there. There's not. Havoc gets caught right now by Zeus, though. And I don't even think he saw... Oh, missed throw. I don't even think he saw that Nate come out of the window. He just happened to be down below and looking aggressive, and the call is made. So Zeus can come out from main, catch him before he can retreat to the bomb site. Guardian under the edge of the smoke will catch down Sponge. Everything's looking good right now for Navi to go to eight. Nine is definitely in the cards right now. As JKS he needs to ha hang on to this M4. He's got an escape route, but only just right now as it's going to be Zeus that's rotating over. Oh, this is not going to be pretty at all. Renegades, their money is going to be completely screwed. And so life just got so much easier for Na'Vi. This is a 9-6 kind of situation for Na'Vi, rea re realistically, because they can, they're going to have all the money that they need in the 15th round. And Renegades, they're probably going to eco for that 15th. So it's a, bit, uh, it's a bit tricky. JKS is getting closed in on as well. This is the correct call to make for Na'Vi. Trade one for one any day of the week. Make sure that he doesn't save that M4. So no, no lucky break for Renegades. They're just getting pounded into dust. And now, well, here we go. 3,900 for Azza. That's the most that they have. And... There it is. So it's just going to be the quasi buy for Renegades. They're going to cross their fingers and hope. Whereas Navi, right now, they can skip their way through. Edward, he knows exactly what's up. He goes for the MAC 10 in this round. He's, he just wants to farm right now. No respect. Yeah. Give me all your money. We'll see how he goes. They're going to go to enter really quickly. Bomb's already dropped down. And Az is actually really aggressive. Look at the stack right now from Renegades. But it only works out to get one kill, despite that they take a lot of life off Zeus. Now it's working out a little better as Edward goes down and Havoc comes across. I talked about the low HP he had. Well, it's all gone. And now it's a man advantage. And thank you very much for the MAC-10. Az is going to use that to his advantage already with two kills in the round, plus the armor on him. So right guy to have the weapon. As Guardian looks for the AK, it's flaming to take down Sponge eventually. So back to two on two and Navi. They look to get this ninth round. We said it was definitely going to be possible. They're looking to make it a true reality. Smoke off allows Flamey to drop in, dropping all the way down to the spools. He'll pick up the bomb, but he's spotted. And the question is, how much support can Guardian offer? Because he's going to have him right beside him. How does Azza come out? Oh, how does he not hit that shot? He came through. I thought Guardian was going to spot him, and we switched cameras. He was right there. And that was an ace for Flamey. So yeah, Flamey just decided to take everything into his own hands, essentially, getting all the kills in that round. Azza just doing everything that he possibly could to keep his team alive. And wow, one thing to note right now is that as has got 18, 3, and 9, everybody else on Renegades, they're in single digits. So he, he is definitely stepping up his game, but the rest of the team are lagging pretty far behind. This is just brutal. But that's, that's the situation where you really do think Azza should have been able to pull it through. Unfortunately, not the case. And now, well, 15th round, Navi could very well be picking up 10 rounds here. We'll see.
three aggressive. They really want to get this punished. Navi too predictable. If Seast makes it out of this, that is huge. But Yaman has that opening things up. Double kill oh. there, and then Renegade's backing off. They've got the advantage now. They don't. They don't need to risk it. Double smoke out though. That's interesting to waste two utilities on that. I like love the fact that Navi are punishing, or Renegades are punishing Navi for being a bit too predictable up there. Yeah, I mean, that's the second time we saw three stack. Last time they had pistols, this time it's with the guns. It definitely opened things up, but Flamey last time pulled the ace. He might be able to do something similar, and they're going to close it out with Guardian getting a double before that. So throw 9 6 out. It's 10 5. Six rounds away from Navi, concluding our day and getting through the quarterfinals as our last semi finalist team and knocking Renegades all the way back to the land down under. And that's sick play from Zeus. That's information basically gained by Seized. Wait, there's three guys pushing in upper halls right now. What's the correct play? Go, for, go on the other side. Just press hard, get out onto that A site as quickly as possible. And that worked out marvelously well for Navi. So quick, uh, quick thinking for both teams basically. Well, Sponge had 15 rounds to figure out Navi's tendencies, but Zeus with the snap call there. And Flamey following through. So now, pistol round essentially. Navi get to play on that CT side. And already, it's actually a little bit more straightforward for them. Kevlar, single HE, mm -hmm. no 5 7 Kevlar, P250 Kevlar, or anything like that. Lovely Just going to be headshots. Play. And I imagine this decoy will be used in a situation where it has to be a fake flash. A lot of people looking to go to that pistol round now where he's going to buy out. So, see if you he gets clever, it. see if he gets creative. Yeah, it makes the same thing when it hits the wall. So, JKS. Getting aggressive at upper. Bombs going down lower right now in the hallway. That means that it's going to have to be Zeus holding the angle, or rather, excuse me, seized. And he is able to collect the first with the USPS, but now it's Guardian to take down JKS from above, and Guardian still pushing forward. He needs to be aware that one player has gone by, and he hears him, but he can't find him. That allows Gam, never mind, to get a kill, I was about to say. Turns out he doesn't. Utter slaughter. All right, that's just brutal. The fact that through the smoke, Seized picks up the first headshot onto Hazard, the guy who's doing all the work right now for Renegades. And then uh, the rest of Navi just not showing any respect at all, completely collapsing on Renegades. I could hear it at the beginning, you know, just faintly on the wind. YOLO. But there you go. Renegades, that's it. They got snuffed. And so three MP7, well, two MP7s and MP9 and two M4s here for Navi in the follow-up round. Good healthy mix for them. In case Renegades tried to go for any kind of force buy in this scenario, they would have been prepared for it. But they're also prepared to make some monies. Three SMGs versus Kevlar. That's, it should be pretty straightforward here for Navi to collect this round as well. But Renegade's not wasting any time, going straight out onto the A side here. The goal, the ambition is to pick up a plant, but right now they're getting slammed pretty hard. Navi holding the line. Good trade there. That could actually allow them to get onto the side. Havoc is going to be the last man here. He's got three kills and an M4 to work with now, but he's caught in a crossfire and that bomb is out in the open. Pretty slim odds now for him to actually uh, succeed in this situation, although there could be something here for Renegades to take away from it. It's just that they did make this very expensive for Navi. Both rifles saved. So they only really lost the MP7s, the SMGs, but still, Navi not going to be really pleased with that. And the tack pause coming out here. But didn't we already have a tack pause in the first half? Are they allowed to pause per half? That was last map. That was last map? Yeah, it was the end overpass. Okay, you're right. Right before we concluded. You're right, you're right. Yeah, so Sponge is definitely using all of his advantages. So it, uh, it shows that they're definitely <laughs> making... The best effort possible, and Sponge, you said last time he had all the rounds to adapt. Here he is again, deep in thought, trying to collect composure for his team and make sure they can come back into this. So, it's interesting. I mean, this is definitely interesting because they, they seem confident on train, and unfortunately, their CT side comes up a little bit short. Where do they look to go? I mean, how is Navi going to be exposed? Where can they win the duels? Like, even if they can open up an opening frag and expose some weakness that they can even just potentially rush to get bomb plants down and then just hope for the best in post plant situations if it comes to that. There's, there's just got to be there's got to be one place on the map that they can win this win at least the battle right but that's uh, I mean the thing is that they can't even go for a buy here it's not like they take the tack pause yes uh, but I like I like that more and more teams are doing that on a, on a round where they don't have weapons out so that they have time to let the thought think, sink in they can actually dry run it potentially with these weapons and say okay see how that didn't work this is where we need to change it get the guns out get a little more time to think about that timeout that's valid that's valid they can work out a strat there. Uh, Seems like that strat, that big stat, really, that's hanging over all of our heads is that you take a pause, you win the next round, right? Yeah. Uh, that's not going to be the case this time around, although, you know, don't want to get ahead of myself, but then Guardian, he's like, no, no, similar, that's right. You know, double headshot for him. Zeus gets one, and Havoc gets mauled by Edward, the Tiger. And that's going to be Navi up on 13 rounds now, and it's going to be Renegades with their backs to the wall. Tournament life on the line here, pretty much. The, they the lose this round. Navi are going to skip, uh, skip into the semis. Yeah, and, and the other aspect of taking that time out of the, around early, just to go back to that thought, is that you can even actually throw a fake. Like, make something super predictable and say, like, let's go A, figure out what they're going to do, see if we can get that thought in their head, and then switch it up entirely on a gun round, which 
Doesn't necessarily look to be the case here, but it's definitely something that you consider in those situations. So I, I like having an extra buffer in there to, to let the thought digest with teams. Sure. I mean, well, it's now or never, basically. Any kind of trick you can pull, do it. As they're getting up close, he could actually have an eye onto Ali, but he's going to get peeked out by Flamey, who wins that battle hands down. And Flamey even gets the second one as well. This guy's a monster right now. Going to deny the plant, or at least keeps it there. And sees just in time to keep his teammate alive. Double kill for Seize, and that's Yam now. 1v3 for him. Minute left on this clock, so he does have some time for shenanigans. Spots out Guardian, oh, and he doesn't get the kill, and now he gives up. He loses the element of surprise. Still gets the headshot on Edward, though. And what's this consideration here? It looks like he wants to head down toward Ivy, and 59 seconds. He has time to make a play here. He's got Guardian extremely low. He must know that because missing that spray like you expected doesn't get the kill. He was the words out of your mouth. Obviously, he must have thought he might have gotten that too or had a chance. So search for Seized, and Seized just going to back himself into the corner. Knows the bomb's off to the left side. He doesn't have to overcommit to anything right now. In fact, Guardian's made some movements as well. He's gone up the ladder, back around into main, and he's going to give the information now to his teammate that he's not here, which could only mean he's coming from the alleys. Yeah, and, I mean, see, so long as he holds that line, it's Hunky Dory. Takes the peak, and Yam, instant shot. Perfect chance. Perfectly done. And Guardian is very low as well. So, Yam, there is definitely a shot for this. 20 seconds left. He's got the bomb. In the wrong direction, though. Easy peasy for Guardian. A little bit of luck when he looks the wrong direction. And no but bomb definitely plant. got that call. That's what Guardian did because you saw him peek out, and then it was just a really well-placed shot from Yam to cancel the play. And no bomb plant. It is going to be the force buy. This is it now. Renegades. They aren't backing up. They're going to go for the buy here in this situation. Two rifles, three tech nines, and it's got to be just all out aggression here. They got to get in Navi's face and just beat them up. Because Navi right now, they've got all the confidence. Another clutch play goes their way. And now it's a full bot Navi basically going up against the struggling renegades who do spread out a little bit and who are going to be setting up for some nades. Nice wall bangs, though. I do love these wall bangs into the upper halls. But Azza holds back just long enough to dodge the bullets, and he's going to be able to set up with the smoke here. Smoke goes out, flashes down through the ladder as well from Azza. Threw it correctly. I don't think that actually dinked off the wall either way they're in. But they're getting shut down by Guardian, who's using the own peak to his advantage. Getting out from inside Z, but Yam cancels that out. And now JKS, they've got the man advantage. Something going on now for Renegades. As they try and get the bomb in position to do so successfully. Flash is coming back over and Seize just walks out through the smoke, able to get the first. Edward already getting a retake. Frag on top of that nade. Oh, that landed on Sponge. It's speed 7 HP for him. But Havoc using just the Tech 9 tries to make something of it. It's not going to work. It all comes back to Na'Vi, the defuse and match point. Match and map point for Na'Vi. Yep, two players survive. They should be able to save the Guardian. Oh, yeah, there we go. The Guardian op as well. I mean, it's Guardian as well. It works, uh, works both ways there, but easy defuse, easy work done by the Na'Vi. Just keeping their cool, not getting flustered. And I think that's the key point right there. It's just so much experience on the Na'Vi lineup when it comes to these kind of clutch situations. Everybody just walks in and works together to land the shots. And, well, Renegades, they just needed to come in big. Yam did, did, the did do the best that he could there with that opening shot on the Guardian, at least. Brought it back to a four-on-four. Four, but afterwards, Na'Vi, it just looks, they just look indomitable right now. But a full buy because of that bomb plant. So now Renegades, they have another shot at it. They need ten rounds in a row here to take it to overtime to keep their hopes alive. Well-timed flash there by Havoc. But then counter flash. And he actually gets team flash there. But some great nades going out. And this is it. Seized opening up strong, taking out Sponge. Havoc not able to connect on that op shot either, so Zeus is there to collect the kill. Now Yam on top of the trains, exposed from both sides, spotted from the right, falls to the left, and Zeus knows he's there, so he'll just wait for that smoke to dissipate. But that smoke also gives Yam a bit more positional control to fall back into a safer angle. Shot came through but didn't land, and all the while JKS waiting for that rotation to come in. Yam gets Zeus, now there's a bit more of a chance here as they bring it back down from a 5-on-2 to a 3-on-2. And yeah, I'm going to make it even better than that as he finds Flamey. So Edward on top of the bomb train. 50 seconds, lots of time to work with. Bomb still up in the hands of JKS, and they're still committing flashes going over. Guardian spotted. Running back inside Z, and JKS getting up close. It's all him that's left. Edward takes down the teammate, and it's a one-on-two. Match point, Na'Vi looking to punch their ticket into the semis. And a game against Flipside, a CIS division matchup featuring Hiko. The guest from the west, but it's going to be JKS, and he's not done just yet. Takes down Guardian. Edwards still waiting for him to pop his head back out, and he does, and that's going to be, that's going to be it. Navi, 16-5. to They'll move on to play tomorrow, and the Australians will bow out here. Yeah, a very clean 2-0 win there for Navi in the end. And Renegades just never really able to get their heads in the game. I think that's the main thing here. First map, they, they never really seemed like they were able to get uh, too much going for themselves. And here on train, it was just completely one-sided. Navi never looked under threat. It, always just, it almost seemed like fate at that point that they were just going to go ahead into the semifinals. Another semifinals for them. But that is going to be um, basically the semis wrapped up. It, well, I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have Cloud9 yeah, versus back. Envy, the rematch from the last weekend. And yeah, Navi flip side. And you know Cloud9 is going to favor that.
You know that Cloud Nine's gonna look to that match and say, like, wicked, we beat them last weekend, we can get to another final. We could redeem ourselves, we want to play Fnatic, potentially Navi. They haven't played Navi in a long time. So no, that's uh, valid. It's, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in that matchup, if that is the matchup, where I mean, we're jumping ahead of ourselves, right? There's still a chance that Envy or Flipside could, do, could uh, get into that game. No, they're, you know, they're, that's it. We really can't count them out. I mean, it's that simple Higo combination, really, that's so powerful right now, that's working wonders for Flipside. And so they're going to be a real threat. Simple, one of the most uh, crazy offers in the scene, basically. Just so ultra-aggressive. But uh, right now, we're basically waiting for the, for the players to come over for that post-match interview to hear uh, the thoughts, at least from Na'Vi, see uh, just what they have in mind for uh, Flipside tomorrow, perhaps, and then get uh, Sponge's thoughts, I imagine, for a Renegade, see uh, how he's going to be able to chew on this. But we'll go ahead and hand it over to Sadokist on the stage now to break things down and close the night for us here, live from ESWC. Sato kiss number two, as I just magically appeared over here. I'm actually still sitting next to Samler's on this, Samler on the stream. We'll bring Sponge up first from Renegades. Sponge, it's been good to meet you this weekend, by the way. I troll your stream enough. I feel like we should finally meet face to face. You can like take it out on me when we leave here. How do you guys feel about your overall performance? Obviously it ends here, 2-0 Navi, but there was some decent matches or rounds in that match. Yeah, probably should have got a few more rounds there, especially on the overpass. Um... We're disappointed, obviously, but hey, we got more rounds in one map than we collectively did in the three last games that we played them, so I guess that's improvement, right? Now, nah, honestly, we need to make sure that we can play a different style of Counter-Strike versus Na'Vi. We need to be able to slow it down and take advantage of them being aggressive and get the picks, so it's something we're going to have to go home and work on, um, but hey, you know, shit happens. The maps actually seem pretty good for you guys. Were you guys pretty happy with that pool? Did you expect better results and maybe force out a third game? Uh, Overpass was a surprise. I thought they'd pick Inferno or Cobble because they've destroyed us on both of those maps. Um, so we didn't actually prepare for Overpass. Like, we have strats and we've watched their demos before for, like, ideas on how to play, but we didn't go into it counter strating them. We went into it playing our style. Um, so that's why we started strong. We just didn't have the depth to adapt. Um, I think we won the veto in terms of, like, like, I felt like we won it, but they were picking for their strengths as opposed to what they would think would just beat us outright, so. And when do you guys fly home? Uh, Monday afternoon, yeah. Get home Wednesday. That's such a long flight. So much commitment. Well, thanks for coming. I'm sure we'll see you more throughout the weekend. Good performance from Renegades again to make it out of the groups. And now we'll talk with Guardian. So you guys have the CIS division matchup tomorrow. You guys ultimately usually do pretty well against Flipside, but before we talk a little bit about that, how did you guys feel about the match against Renegades? Uh, I would say it was pretty hard, especially on overpass first rounds. We were getting like raped. It was 0-5 to them, so it was kinda surprising. And then we somehow find the way how to play. We started to play on skill again without tactics, and it was working. So yeah, it, it was pretty hard to play them. They were shooting uh, very good. I've interviewed you twice, and you've said raped twice in those interviews. So I'm, I'm like detecting a trend right now, Guardian. Uh, how do you guys look, look forward to tomorrow with Flipside? Um, it will be hard because they are a mixed team, and I, we don't like to play mixed teams with standings. So it's going to be hard. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll win the game. But yeah, they're simple. They can win matches alone. So yeah, going to be hard. Does the, like the having Hiko in the lurk role as opposed to world edit, does that frighten you guys at all? <laughs> well, it's going to be hard. Hiko is Hiko, and uh, also he's, he's the kind of player that can win games alone. So we have to shut them down and play our game. All right, well, we'll let you guys get out of here and get some rest. Congratulations to you guys. You complete our semifinalists. So tomorrow we do have, to start things off, Cloud9 up against Envy, a rematch of last weekend at ESL, and then, of course, the game we just talked about, Flipside versus Na'Vi. We'll also bring you the finals from the girls' division once we figure out who that's going to be. There's still four teams remaining inside the semifinals for tomorrow, and we'll happily see you there.